Hi everyone. Well, it's certainly been a long time since I've done a video, but I really haven't had anything to really chat or visit with you about. So, however, I finally do. This past fall, I had a skin cancer removed and it was a basal cell carcinoma and it left about a one inch scar on the side of my face. That's why my hair is pulled back because I want you to see all of my face, um, you know, and uh, so you get a better perspective of how um, my products work. But the scar is right here, if you can see it. It's on the side of my temple. And I'm gonna show it to you again without makeup and you're gonna see the process of how I covered it up with the tips on how to get it done to perfection. Um, but basically, uh, yeah, it was uh, uh, not a fun time for me um, when I was diagnosed with the skin cancer and uh, the surger surgery went really well, but it did leave me a scar with a lot of erythema and um, you know, and it's not attractive, but I'm very fortunate. It's also near my hairline, and basically when I wear my hair down, it also covers the spot too. So, but having a good high quality mineral makeup that covers really well doesn't hurt either. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna here to show you today. And uh, so let's get started. Of course, you have redness from the uh, erythema that is caused by scarring. Uh, this will eventually, you know, fade as, as time goes by, but with the scar still being relatively new, there's still a lot of redness. Um, however, it has greatly improved since the original surgery. But anyway, to demonstrate how we do that, I like to go with the Chubby Blender brush. Um, this gives concentrated um, makeup application directly to the spot. I also recommend for the best coverage to use the Moist Method, uh, which I've, I've talked about in other videos. Um, and uh, it's basically spraying the tip of the brush, the bristles, three or four times with a mist and uh, just dipping it into your minerals. And the minerals I'm using, I'm using Fiorella um, Delicate Formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and do around my eyes because um, I also wanna touch up while I'm doing that because I'm gonna do my makeup today. And uh, just basically kind of soften down the redness that my face has around my nose and my cheeks. And I just put a very light veil on because my regular color foundation will go over the top of that. Another great way to cover a scar is, um, is to make sure your moisturizer is still fairly uh, moist still on your skin. Don't let it you know, dry or absorb completely. Um, and uh, another method is you can use a drop of jojoba oil um, and it will do the same thing. It'll allow for direct concentration on the area. Plus, jojoba oil is wonderful for scar tissue, damaged facial tissue. It's very gentle. It pH balances the skin. It controls sebum production, uh, that type of thing. So um, I'm going to use the moist method, but like I said, you can use mo your moisturizer cream or you can use jojoba oil directly to the scar, rubbing it in really well. Um, but anyway, to show you that it does cover, I'm going to put concentration of minerals on there and I'm going to dab it onto the area. You can see it's going on a little bit heavy. That's okay. I'm gonna just kind of work it into the hairline. So see how it's going? Okay. And it's really greatly improved that erythema. Now the thing that I, I always recommend in tips is always conceal redness or uh, whatever you're trying to hide, whether it's a pock mark or with a lighter shade. Don't use the same foundation shade um, as you would your makeup. So, um, you know, and then you can just keep reapplying until you get the coverage that you want. And I think that looks pretty good right now, okay? And this video is gonna be attached to a little mini article that I'll also describe further. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to do my moist method with my Buki brush, and I'm gonna dip it into my standardized mineral cosmetics for my makeup, which this is now gonna go over the top of my touch up. I'm kind of doing it quickly because, and as you can see, it's not taking off the coverage that I've already laid down, but it is going to go over the top of it. Apply some more minerals. Plus a damp brush also helps to set mineral makeup while you're applying it, which is nice. Gets it done quickly. So now, gently going over the top of that, 
or my eyes. And I'm using my shade as a Donia Delicate. So this is the shade you're seeing going over the top of the Fiorella. I don't try to cake it on or get it too heavy or, you know, I, I like to still have a natural look. And now you can see that the scar is greatly reduced. Now, if you're wanting a little more uh, coverage yet again, then what you can do is you can directly set the makeup and then apply another little bit over the top while the skin is still moist. And it will cover it all the more. It's just about disappeared, isn't it? So that's pretty much it. And then you can set the rest of your makeup by just kind of pressing and going over it. And so, um, you know, it's, it's, really, it's really simple to do. And, but like I said, now I go out public and no one really can see the problem with my makeup, the, the, the scar, or it's just about invisible. And now you could get complete coverage if you wanted to switch to like dewy formula or uh, velvet, which is our most opaque formula. Um, but like I said, I like to do, use delicate because I like my natural skin to just, you know, be softened and, and just appear better. So anyway, that's it. Our mineral makeup will cover scar. You, as you can tell, it's all uniform and, and, uh, and that's just putting on a light veil. So um, anyway, I hope that answers your question. Well, that's it. And as you can see, our mineral makeup does answer the question of will it cover scar tissue? And yes, it does. Uh, it does a very good job too. And the best part is it's very soothing. As you can see, I'll show you again the finished product. Um, scar is nicely concealed. It's soothed. It's softened. It feels great. It's, it doesn't feel itchy or burning. And uh, that's what goes along with a lot of scar tissue is the discomfort after surgery. So while you're in the process of healing, our mineral makeup will also go far in calming erythema that is accompanying the scar and any irritation along with it. So, and the best part is it conceals beautifully and flawlessly and, and no one will even be the wiser that you ever had the surgery. So anyway, I hope that answers the question for you and hopefully I won't be so long between videos next time. But in the meantime, be well, take care, and I wish you a prosperous 2011. Bye-bye.